What's this I got in the mail? Another ACP benefit government phone. Let's find out. Hello everybody, Corey Express here, here and welcome back to a new government phone. Before I begin on this particular government phone, please make sure to hit that sub button, turn that up for case the bell, follow everything in the description down below, even your video ideas. You can submit a video request and you can fill out that form right there for you guys. It's links right there in the description too. And you can also comment on this video or other videos on my channel. And of course, you can join today by hitting the join button and become a member of my channel. And of course, you have some really neat perks from joining the channel. So without further ado, let's get started. What's this? I got in the mail. Another ACP benefit government phone. Let's find out. Before I open up this brand new government phone and of course the device itself, I wanted to give out a little information on what's going on with all the stuff I've been getting from the government side of my benefits. So ACP is the Affordable Care or Affordable Connection Plan or program as you, it might be different in your area, but depends on where you live. And basically, if you have food stamps, SSI, welfare, and some other uh, associated programs that you guys have in your area, you're qualified for ACP. And basically, you get approved. It could be take a day or two just to get approved. And you can apply for free internet, free calling, texting, and free like tablets and stuff I've been getting. And um, I wanted to test out a new device, which is, uh, uh, of course, you guys will see the title of this video, because, yes, there is a phone and, of course, tablet from Unity Wireless. Now, you're wondering, what happened to my other ACP benefit government phones? I can explain that in the next video. After a few days, once I mess around with the Unity Wireless phone, um, it comes with a cost with it, you know, with the service. Because if you have, let's say, AirTalk Wireless, CubeLink Wireless, uh, SafeLink, and of course, Whoop Connect, if you have all three services under your benefit, uh, it's called Transfer Out. Meaning, if you have more than two devices on your benefits, they will alert you on your email or text message and say, hey, you're using way too much benefits and we want you to have just one, one phone per household and they will cut you off a different service. Now, the Q-Link wireless phone that I have is still active even though they didn't send me no transfer out so that's good because i have that service though it's it's really good it's fast into that too um the only problem is that since i had the uh, the air talk wireless for a pretty long time it's <laughs> it once i got the unity wireless they automatically transferred me out so, fortunately, it's either or I have to pick. Just like SafeLink, where um, if you have SafeLink and then you try to, you know, put in for Assurance Wireless, Assurance Wireless won't, won't approve your application because you have SafeLink. So, it's vice versa on how good of service if you want to get, like, you can get any of those ACP benefit services from the, you know, government too. Um, I, for me, I'm trying to test out all, all service for the, you know, ACP benefit. 
And I gotta say, um, it's pretty a wild ride, but um, it's hard to judge on which service that I like the most. Um, out of all, AirTalk Wireless is the go-to service because they they give you a phone or you can get, or you can get a SIM card, and I can explain on the next video about all three or four services they have. But um, like I said before, it comes with a cost of transfer out, and I wish I had more to explain here on video, but I want to open up the Unity Wireless phone that I receive in the mail. And hopefully, uh, if you have any more questions or, or concerns, you can email me or you can leave a comment below and I will answer your questions as best as I can. Because there was a lot of people that asked us questions and, and concerns about the service. And and I wanted to help you guys out by, you know, fulfilling your request for, for like, how the service works. What you get out of the service and things like that. And I can explain on a bigger video next time. But I wanted to show you guys what I receive in the mail. So without further ado, let's get started. Open up this Unity Wireless phone. Alrighty, since I got the Unity Wireless phone from, you know, of course, their company. I was supposed to get a tablet. But I decided to get a phone. And hopefully I can still keep this phone Whatever phone I got from Unity Wireless. Uh, there was advertising on Facebook at the time. So hopefully uh, they don't mind me trying to review their product. But it's a I, it's supposed to be a good phone. And I lost my scissors. So I might have to use something to open up this. Because <laughs> it's pretty uh, wild. So <laughs> got to scoot over here to find my scissors. Or something to open up at least. Uh, nope. I lost something in it. Oh, there it is. I have my trusty flathead screwdriver here. Even though I'm supposed to have scissors to open up. I lost my scissors. The reason why I'm using a flathead here. It's because it open, open up packages easily. And you might recall why I'm covering up my shipping information. It's because of safety reasons. Ooh. This is this looks like a nice device. Uh, what is it called? Alright, so the phone itself it looks nice. Uh it's called Nitro N62. From Unity Wireless, and it's and it's I think it's already pre-activated, but I don't see the seals been touched. But they did put the SIM card in the uh, the actual side here, so that way I could activate it. And um, I'm just gonna cover up the information, but it it, it will give you a SIM card where it says Unity Wireless on it. That's pretty neat. Now, if it's a nano, little nano sim, I have to punch out the the card and kind of install it. But let's see how it looks when it comes to the Nitro N62. Um, hopefully, I can open up easily. Well, they made it easy because they put the sim card in, so I just have to do this. <laughs> That's fun. Now, I've been asking Unity Wireless when, when I get my device, and it's been days and weeks, and I finally got the device, which is today. Um, pretty neat, right before Christmas. A nice little slash Christmas gift from from them. And again, this is the ACP benefit uh, if you're qualified for the service, like I mentioned earlier. Uh, so, they... They actually, what they did was, if you have the if you have the seal, it's not it hasn't been broken yet. When it comes to open it, um, on the back of the device before I actually activated it, it says screen is six point two six HP, no HD, sorry, ISP IPS, sorry. Uh, camera is five megapixel by five megapixel. Uh, battery. 
amped is uh, 3,000 milliamps. That's pretty good. Memories is 32 gigabytes, 2 gigabytes of RAM. Quad core, Android 12, Go, uh, Go Edition, and Network is 4G LTE, and Secure Face Unlocked. And the bundle packet comes with the earbuds, the phone, the screen protector, the charger, and the, and the, uh, of course, the, the, uh, USB, I think it's USB type C. It might, it might be USB type C, but it's called the Nitro N62. And I'm not going to show you all my IMEI because it's, because I don't want to have my information been taken, like I said earlier, with the uh, open up the package. But I'm going to open up this and see how this is. Boom. Easy enough. Now I broke the seal because there was a seal on the bottom of the box. Is it? I'm going to make sure. Oh. It's one of those fold. So I fold it up here. It's one of those folds where you fold it up and then. Ta da! Magic. I'm going to see if it's, I think it's already, oh, wait, hold on a minute. It says it has a SIM card already in it. Hold on a minute. What is this? I have an extra SIM card? So, I got this blank one here, and I got the Unity Wireless one. Is this a, like a backup one in case something happens? I'll check the phone and ch check the phone to mess with it just a little later. All right, so you get the phone itself. I just took the phone out. Comes in the pack package here. I'm gonna try to see if it, this works. Pretty neat. I like that. Kind of uh, brand new, right out of the box. The cameras is on the back. Uh, for it says four four G LTE face unlock. Memory and the Android 12. And the looks of it, I believe it is one of those SIM carded uh, devices. So I'm just like, look for the side of it. Huh, that's weird. Where is the SIM ejector? Or the SIM tray, actually. Is it? You can take, I think you can take the back off, can you? No, you can't. It's, it's like almost the same style as the Motorola G phone, just a little bit because it has the camera. But how is the quality of the camera? I'm going to try to find out for sure, but I am still looking for that SIM card uh, slot. That is so weird. It's, I don't see it on the side or... Uh, the top is it is it uh i'll try to find 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 a little later once i mess with it <laughs> but you got you get the phone and then in the uh in the box you will get the accessories if i can get the accessories out Ta -da! You have the, uh, you know, the manual, the printout. You will have the screen protector. I'm going to try to do that later. Um, another thing, a manual. Th oh, so the back is removable. So that's why I didn't see that. That, it says insert the nano chip card. And yes, I think the back is removable. So I'm going to have to figure that out for myself um more pamphlets um they get a they give you a case like they did with the whoop connect with they give you a case for the device pretty cool um now for the usb type C, i think it's a usb type c cord so um let me just check the bottom of the phone before anything happens uh Looks like you no, it's not USB Type C. My bad. And let me just take try to take this out. 
How can I take this out really fastly, carefully here? I'll just rip the top. <laughs> so the looks of it, it is not USB Type C. It is the regular USB micro, actually micro USB. Like it doesn't have that flatter edge. Not bad. Um, the next is. Looks like the headphones, yep, this is the headphones, I don't use that, but it plugs into the uh, phone and stuff on the top here, you guys will see that. <clears throat> you got the charger, I don't think it's a fast charge though, and the battery, so yeah, the back is removable, so I'm going to um, do that in a little bit, try to set this up, and hopefully it will take lesser time for me to... Uh, set everything up but pretty cool um i'm am going to put the manual backs i am going to uh activate it but i'm not i'm, I'm going to try not to activate it right now until i put the screen protector on but once you see this is off of the phone you will see uh me in action trying to set up the phone itself um i'm going to check and see if it has the sim the sim card in there and hopefully it will be all set i am gonna it's gonna take me a couple minutes trying to put the screen protector on but hopefully it'll be fine itself but i'm gonna have to keep this manual out so i can be able to find find what i need to do on the phone um so i'll be back in a little bit and hopefully i can set this phone up Alrighty, I am back. Yes, I finally figured out how to put the SIM card. I have to switch out the first SIM card. So I'm going to show you how I did it. I put the screen protector on. It took me forever to do. So I'm not going to take that, that label, label off just yet. But I'm going to do that later on. To take the uh, SIM card, there is a battery but I'm gonna show you how to put the battery in. So there's this little edge on the side of the screen. You wanna turn this phone around and before I explain on the how to put it in, this is a Maxwell, or actually not Maxwell, but Max West phone. And it, that's why it's not, uh, Nitro N62, which is Max West phone. So to do this, there's a little, notch at the end of the screen here <clears throat> you take your fingernails and then you slightly kind of force it back a little bit and then you take off this whole back cover just like an old style phone and the back plate comes off of the phone now you can insert your sim to take this sim card out as they did install it you, you can either use the set the extra SIM card that it was associated with the phone and you can slide out the SIM card without trying to damage any components inside of the actual device. It takes a little try try to slide slide everything out from the SIM card tray, but it's already out. If it doesn't work, I'm gonna put back the same SIM card that I took out. But to put the Unity Wireless SIM card in, you punch out the small little card. You got to make sure you not get get the card bent because if you get the card bent, then you have to get a whole new SIM card. I already punched it out already to insert it. This is like my uh, Metro phone. You have to ins install the SIM card from the back. You take the SIM card. And then you slightly put it in. It's very easy to do. Um, I believe I'm doing this wrong. Here we go. Try this now. Like so. And I and I and again I did it. Oopsie. I instead of I instead of putting it in the SIM card slot, the first slot, I I put it in the second slot. By mistake so you have to redo everything again I, have, I mean I have to redo everything again you just 
CB uh, made a first general mistake, but I have to insert it in the first the first sim, and it does take an SD card, the micro SD card that is. Once you have that in the first slot, you go ahead and insert your battery. I will put the uh, cover on a little later. Take the battery out. Be careful. 3,000 milliamps. This is a bigger battery. This is a pretty large battery. Almost the same style as the uh, Samsung batteries. Yes, and I saw the Samsung battery like that before. I just have to insert it. I'm going to make sure if it's not going to ruin. Is it this way or is it this way? Oh, yep. Definitely this, this, the other way when it says Nitro and 62 Max, Max West phone. I hope I got this right. Seems like it does, don't want to go in. Maybe it's the other way. Maybe it's not. <laughs> I'm doing this wrong. Don't mind me. It's a pretty big battery, but this is how it's supposed to be like here. <clears throat> I never put in a big battery like that in a long time. Then you close it, and then you hear a snap, and boom. And now you can turn it on. I'm, I am going to take the, the uh, second layer off now. Nice little peel. So remember, I took... I took the um, this cover off because it's it just protecting the phone, and then I insert the the, uh, the of course the protector for for the uh, the screen protector that came with this phone. Um, and you guys will see that I already took it off. Piece of little paper. Now I'm gonna go ahead and insert the back of the. Uh, be the case for this phone so you guys will see me do that right now and again if i don't have service i'm gonna have to switch back to the small inserted sim that was previous with the phone itself um the case is right here this is a clear case of the phone boom 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 goes on the back presto there you go Nice little case for the phone. Let's see if it turned on. <clears throat> Give it a sec. I'm going to put my box down here so work that is cool and it's going to give you the welcome screen and set it up um, I am going to set this up. Um, I am going to get some, uh, text messages from my other phones to bring this phone in to back, to back it up. Or I can just set up offline or I'm going to, I'm going to go to set this up right now, right in front of you guys. It's going to take me a little bit. I am going to get my other phones, but I can probably uh, get an activation stuff on, on my phone saying I need to uh, pair up this phone. But I am I am want to put everything on this phone so you guys will see. Now it's just loading my, inf my Google information. Now, I know the case. I know the uh, screen protector is not really, really uh, smoothed out because... 
you know, I, I do a crap job trying to put the screen protector on. Um, once this phone comes in, I may have to grab my personal phone. So while this loads, I am going to walk over here. I see my phone's over here. I don't have it on my sights. I do have the Nokia, the uh, Nokia devices. No, actually, not my Nokia. <laughs> I have my other devices that I've connected to Google, so you guys will see that. That I have my iPhones and my uh, Molero G phone hooked up to the to my Gmail. It lets me know if somebody's logged in. <clears throat> While this phone loads, uh, is the case fits good? I want to make sure. That's a nice camera, by the way. Again, it looks like. The uh, Motorola G phone, and I think I can show you guys while this is still loading. Um, <laughs> if I can find my Motorola G phone, I just turned off. <laughs> I'm always getting up during the uh, camera shots, but I want to show you my Motorola G phone, and it's currently on my bedside. This is my Motorola G, so it looks the camera looks similar on the back of a of the device, um, but it has like three cam, three little uh, lenses and a uh, flashlight, and I guess a, an AR sensor. I guess that's that's what the Motorola G10 phone looks like. This is my personal phone. That I might get an alert saying that Google is trying to connect to the. Nitro N62 phone or Max 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 West Earlier I said Maxwell. Oops. It's Max West Now from the looks of my angle over here on my computer that my service is still active. So so once you once you get a service from ACP uh, You only can connect two devices on your ACP if you connect more devices on your ACP, you'll get a notification on email saying, would you like to transfer? Uh, this service is trying to transfer out your benefits and you lose that service. Like say for instance, you've got AirTalk Wireless with the Unity Wireless. They won't allow you to have two service. So unfortunately, AirTalk Wireless will tell you, uh, we feel like that you transfer out of our service uh if this was a mistake please uh, let us know so it's really you got to be careful on on your benefit service so that's that's one thing but i gotta explain more once once i make a new video for you guys so you guys will understand what the benefit program is and how it works and and i can go from there all right so it says copy apps and data you can choose to transfer your apps photos contacts google account and more now tell me and then i gotta say proceed uh choose your other devices android bring photos and videos okay check in information i think and when it when you when the phone from unity wireless comes in it comes in half charged so you do have to charge it once you are finished setting up. Open your Google app on your old device. Uh, say, okay, Google to set up my device. Um, let's call this device different. All right, so I have to open up Google on my phone i have to look, look at the, the okay open up google oh i can do this hey google set up my device okay. and it was and i had the profit on this device that had to set it up 
search him for his device. And it's going to search for the device. If it can't find my device, then, uh, then, then it won't show the triangles and stuff. So I have to see if it's match. Yes. Verify the shapes of your new device. Yep. Continue on your old device. Copy your new, new device. Copy. And then I got to do my binary. And let it copy from my, my uh, Nokia phone. I like to have my same apps on all my phones, on my Android phones, because I don't want to go through the process of trying to get all the apps and install. We got to wait for two hours and oh, it's just a pain in the butt. Uh, almost done. Uh, continue set up on your Nitro N62. Continue on your old device. Okay. There you go. Now it's setting up my information. So that's about it. And then it goes back to my old screen. <laughs> with this bingo, by the way. This is sleep time from the episode from Bluey. It's going to take a little bit to me to set up this device. And I know it takes a, a little longer for this video, but it's fine. I want you guys to see that I'm activating a Nitro phone from Unity Wireless. Am I going to keep the other service? I will let you guys know in the next video if I'm going to keep the other service. Um, I'm a big Android nerd than the iOS nerd from Apple. You know, that's me. I know Android a little bit more than the iPhones. Um, speaking of iPhones, um, I am repairing some iPhones because, you know, some of some of them was donation donations to someone with me buying it trying to repair it I, I like to repair it more than trying to buy it from scratch which is like a thousand dollars I gotta set the lock screen I'm trying to transfer all my stuff from my old device I like how this this sets up I gotta continue uh, setting this up and hopefully I will show you guys all the features and stuff from the new device. And I might do a live stream on, <laughs> on this device on Facebook so hopefully you guys will see that for sure. And I'm sorry if this is taking longer, it's fine. If you did grab some popcorn and sit and watch me, that's fine. Um, <laughs> I'm try not to take too long trying to set up this device but I want you guys to see what ACP you know from from the government looks like when you get a new device and new service I'm doing this for you guys but if you have any questions or, or concerns you can feel free to email me you can you can also message me on any platform and of course you can comment on this video if you have any questions on on your benefits but i am going to make a acp benefit video so you guys will see me explain on the services and how to get it how to maintain the free devices and how to install and how to you know do all that kind of uh, kind of you know, the hit devices out there because um I've been I've been getting advertising for my ACP benefits because I do have uh, food stamps and SSI and other things that I have for to qualify for the free phones and tablets. But hopefully, if this phone ever comes to you know get everything up, I can be able to show you guys um, what it looks like. But hang on tight, and I'm going to see if this is done. And hopefully I, I have this uh, device ready for you guys so you can see. 
Alrighty, after a few minutes, everything is set up on my phone. Yes, the new phone from Unity Wireless. Max West Nitro N62. Yeah, 62. <laughs> I almost forgot the brand. <laughs> but yeah, everything set up on the phone looks great. Um, I do have to put some icons on here, but it looks great. Gorgeous, it's, it's running as it is. Um, <coughs> making sure everything is on here. Uh, it's just transferring everything from my old device, so it will take uh, about, a, about like a, several minutes. But overall, it does look cool, and it has the same almost the same thing as the tablet, the Wu Connect tablet, where the uh, icons are a little funky <clears throat> because the icons will tell you you can turn you can turn night light screenshot battery saver auto ro rotation stuff like that because this is the android 12 so android 12 is a little funky to me but i'm going to try my best <clears throat> and i got a surprise for you guys the unity wireless is off of t-mobile it tells me on the top of the device there yeah, and I'll show you guys in the you know, close-up there. Yes, T-Mobile. And if you go to the SIM card, the settings of the SIM card, actually, and hopefully this is not, not going to run slowly, though. Uh, where is my mobile network settings? Do, 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 do. Oh, it's got it's got different settings. Okay, so in the settings it has network and internet, connect connected device, apps, notification, battery, uh, storage, sound, display, wallpaper, accessibility, security, uh, privacy, locations, safe safety and emergencies. Password and accounts. There's no webinar, webinar, yeah, well, or well, actually, there's no well being and parenting control. Google, uh, new one is called Dura Speed. And then you got system and then about phone. What's Dura Speed looks like? I've never seen that before. It's probably going to tell me, uh, Dura Speed helps boost the for for uh foreground app by restricting background apps some notification may be postponed or not received dura speed does not restrict background activities of apps switch on in the list below yeah sw switch on to allow apps to run on background that's pretty neat um, I can show you guys is Android 12, so hopefully I can be able to, uh, find out, find out for the device itself. I'm not going to show you the number, because it's an unknown number, so. Oh, so, let me see. What it says is I have LTE. Phone number, un unknown, uh, I was supposed to have... Uh, I think that other cards are supposed to be for uh, for my number. I don't know if I should, uh, maybe I should make a call to see if it works. I want X out of these settings to see if it doesn't make if it doesn't make a call. I think that I think that second SIM card will work. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it might make a call or not. Oh, it does make a call. Oh, cool! It does make a call. You can't hear my my phone because of copyright 
issues because I have the uh, lollipop from um, from Bluey, so I just want to make sure I'm not copyrighted here. And of course, Unicorn sound there as well, too, as well. Yes, it does make a call, so it's it's got to sync up. Yeah, pretty cool. It does make a call. I'm like afraid it wasn't gonna work at first, but yeah, it does make a call. Um, what about the camera? Is the camera good? Uh, well, <laughs> I do have to make some settings. Uh, how to do the settings on here? It's uh kind of almost like the other phone and the other tablet. <clears throat> How can I access the settings? How do you do that? That's weird. Alrighty guys, so <laughs> that was a wild ride there. <laughs> My uh my other uh, iPhone just got full with storage, so I had to switch over to my iPhone 11, which is great. I still have a lot of storage left. <laughs> so I had to try to set this phone up, the Nitro N62. Pretty awesome. It's downloading everything. I think I don't have to set up my Gmail as far as the phone goes. Um... <laughs> <laughs> this phone is still acting up because I'm trying to still set it up. Um, I'm going to try to see if something works on here real quick before I leave. Um, can I look at something here? But I'm just trying to see and make sure everything is on here for my old device. Uh, the camera, the camera does work. Uh, the video qualities, it you have to mess around with the settings because uh, right now when I was trying to record just a little bit, uh, it has that that auto auto focus whatever or auto you know density whatever you call it that when you face it towards the light, it kind of dims on the camera. Uh, I've been trying to do that, but if you have any suggestions on what kind of other ca camera apps I need to use for this device, let me know. Again, this is a Max West Nitro N62 phone um, from Unity Wireless. Love it. Um, is it going to work for me? I don't know, but... Uh... <laughs> I'm going to see if how this is going to work in a few days, but once I come back, it's going to be the uh, ACP benefit video, so that way you guys know what to do and not to do. Um, I am going to say this, that if you have SIM cards from any service provider, as long as the phone is unlocked, you can use that SIM card on, a, on that device. Like, say for instance... Um, if you have an iPhone that's already unlocked and ready to use, you can swap out with, with like the SafeLink Wireless or AirTalk Wireless, Unity Wireless, Whoop Connect, Meso PCS. Well, you have to do something with Meso PCS in order to get the iPhone to work. Uh, you can use Xfinity. You gotta have to call Xfinity, but the Xfinity card works on every device that I have. Um. You can do it with uh, T-Mobile, you can do it with Verizon, you can do it with any service provider that you have. Uh, eSIM is a little different. You have to call in just to verify that the device is unlocked and ready to use. Uh, I have one phone that is locked to Spectrum, and I fixed that phone for $500, which is the iPhone 14, 128, I believe. Um, that's... The the seller told me that it was Xfinity, but it's not. It is locked to Spectrum, so I hope I can be able to get that situated with Spectrum. But um, yeah. So Unity Wireless is it really good? I will I will give you guys an update in a few days, and hopefully it will be uh good as gold. And hopefully I can be able to have. 
this running better than the next, hopefully the next time because it's pretty cool. Um, and again, gotta wait for all my Google stuff to come in. It's gonna take hours just to get, but it's running smoothly. But I want to thank you guys for coming in and, and um, watching me set up the Unity wireless phone. And I will, I am really excited to try to service out. I am going to try to get my AirTalk wireless service back um, because it's hard to have Unity Wireless with AirTalk Wireless as far as the service, ACP service go, but hopefully I get that situated too. I am actually going to discontinue the Whoop Connect because the tablet is so slow. And I know the service is great. They give you 15 gigabytes worth of of data and then unlimited everything. But the device, the tablet does not make any calls. It was supposed to make calls, but it didn't make any calls. But um, but the the Wi-Fi is good. The uh, the 4G is good. But I am trying out Unity Wireless, so that way I can see how it works. If it does work. Great, I could be able to use it, you know, forever. They do have tablets, but uh, somehow I didn't qualify for a tablet. I wanted to get the tablet from Unity Wireless, but nope. But they gave me a phone. Um, it, I'm going to see how this phone's going to work for, for the next few days. But if it does work, I'll give you guys an update as far as the service go. And then after that, I will explain on ACP and what it, what it does work and how it does work. You guys uh, had a lot of questions about me getting the ACP benefits from different devices. And a lot of people have told me that you can't get a lot of service with the ACP. Uh, and that I can explain on my bigger computer and... And tell you guys all about what's going on with ACP and how the, how how's it is beneficial with you know getting a free device on your lifeline service and your benefits and stuff like that. But I won't take that long anyway to explain it. But hopefully you guys will understand. But anyway, this is Corey Special. Thank you guys for watching. Please make sure to hit that sub button, turn notification bell. Follow everything in the description down below. Even your video ideas, the submission form there is for you guys to fill out and send your requests. And make sure you comment on this video or other videos on my channel. And don't forget to join today by hitting that join button up there to select the plan and become a member of my channel because you got a lot of perks with the plan itself. But anyway, Corey Smith too. Thank you guys for watching, and hopefully you guys enjoy your day, and hopefully you finish your popcorn and whatever, because I wanted to explain about the phone and the service and the ACP. But anyway, Corey Smith too. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.